Okay, we're back out again. It's been three weeks. It's, uh, in that time I've had a week's holiday, so I had a week completely off of a YouTube. I haven't looked at a video or nothing, so I've got a bit of catching up to do. So if I haven't watched or left a comment, the reason is I've been away. Week's uh, holiday with the family, so... I wasn't planning on watching a YouTube or anything like that, so I just enjoyed myself, a few beers. Just chilling. Eating, drinking, sitting around the pool. But I'm out again tonight. Lovely warm day in the northern fells. Heading up onto Bowscale at the moment. Bowscale Fell. Um, I haven't really got anywhere in mind. I'm just gonna. It's just after six, I think, so I'm just gonna just see what's like up there. And I've got something different that I'll be camping in tonight, which I've never camped in before, so it could be interesting. Anyhow, I'll bring you back further up. scale tan. Somebody on an inflatable or something. I'm heading up the path. I'm gonna get my breath back. Whew. Yeah the one good thing we're out of the direct sun. We'll do a 10 or 15 minutes and we're back on the ridge and yeah, but as soon as I stop, the flies are on us. But, yeah, I can feel them nipping at my ankles and stuff. Keep moving. Oh, we're getting there. Puffing and blowing. And with that, oh, we made it onto the ridge. And there's a beautiful breeze. Oh, ah, hey. Quarter seven, not doing bad time. I can see Lingy Hut from here, directly across. Oh. First view of the, the Solway. You can see it there, you can just see it along there as well. Whew. Onwards. Okay, shelter. Top of bow scale fell. 702 meters. Yeah. And we got Blaine Kaffer, which I was up December? Aye, December last year. But, uh, yeah, the last time I was up here was I was just thinking it was uh, uh, January 2020 and it was absolutely freezing, snow on the ground. And the spin drift, of, spin drift up here was absolutely awful. <laughs> Hence I didn't camp up here that night. I dropped down off the edge and uh, I camped a place called Raven Crags, just uh, out, out of the wind. But yeah, there's a bit of a breeze blowing here, so I need to find... I don't know whether to stay here or carry on a little bit further. I don't know what to do. Okay, I've decided to push on. It's been such a lovely night in our... I'm just going to follow the path back up towards Blencafra. See what happens, see how far I get. But, uh, I'm in work tomorrow at tw uh, 12 dinner time, so I don't want to be going too far away from the car, but uh, I can come back down that way and I can drop off, drop into Mungrise there and follow the road along to Bowscale where I'm parked. No problem. And then it'll take a couple hours, like, so yeah. It's all doable, only about literally a 45 minute drive from home, so... Onwards again. So it's taken us about 10 minutes to drop down, pick up this path now, and just follow it up onto Lencafra, he says. But uh, yeah, there's still a bit of ascent to go. I've got to dip down and then back out again. Okay, right. Uh, this is just, just dipping out and then we're up all the way to the summit. Didn't look as steep back there, but <laughs> yes, it certainly does. I remember it now. So I just followed this ridge all the way up. Right, so there's a decent spot just here. 
So if I push on, finish off this last little bit. Which um, I think I will, and then if there's nothing up on the top, I can always dip back down here, which is only 10 or 15 minutes. So we'll push on for this last bit. Yeah, we've covered a bit there. And now, up here, and this is the last bit, but this is zigzag steep as but the views rough. Looks like there's a bit of a haze just hanging over the Solway Firth. Good view of Scales Town now, albeit in shade. Yeah, there was two guys, but they were taking a rest when I seen them, so they may be uh, pop out somewhere soon. Right, summit of Blancafa, 868 metres. But unlike the last time I was here, I can see <laughs> for miles and miles. What a view! Sell me just through there, you got your tail up here, Helvellum, and you got High Street over there. The sun will probably set just to the right of Skidder, he hopes. But uh, yeah, it's not often you get to uh, blend graffiti to yourself, is it? I'm glad that I uh, came across from Bow Scale because it's taken us an hour, literally an hour. When I was over there, it just it was inviting us across. <laughs> and there's a couple of spots over here I could probably pitch up. I don't know what the traffic will be like up here. A few runners, no doubt, and folk coming up for the sunset and whatever, but I don't imagine there'll be too many people, you know, not too many. Right, let's find somewhere to pitch up. Okay, here it is the £30 tarp from AliExpress. <laughs> I got it about two or three years ago, never used it, and then I found it again. <laughs> buried so I seam sealed it and uh, gave it a bit of a rain test in the garden of a week and it seems to be all right so I have got an inner to go in it but it's gonna be a bit tight but uh, it'll be fine for tonight I'm uh, quite close to the path here like, but it's the best place. If I went down there, the wind just drops right off, but here there's a nice breeze blowing, so it's keeping all the flies and midges and everything away, so I'll just risk it. I mean, it's, it's half eight now, like, so. Okay, so that's the inner in. I've got my farm mat on me. Same the rest as you can see. Got my rub sleeping bag just uh, puffing up now. But, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a tight fit in there, but it's, I can pull it up a little bit tighter. It's enough to keep the bugs off your face if there is any, but uh, I have a new piece of kit. <laughs> Here we go. The size of that thing, a memory foam villa. I follow uh, Sandy Wilcherman on the Wessex photographer, Joe, and they've both got them in the swear by them, so yeah, decathlon. They're not expensive, so I thought I'd just give it a go, as you do. So I've got set up, what a mess I've got mine. Put my hot water on, boiling rate. Right? I'm just having a oh, one of these tonight. Naked Thai style green curry and I've got some um, cooked chicken just to beef it up a bit. But so uh, yeah. Beautiful evening, oh, there's some campers over there setting up camp. Yeah. A bit further across from me, that's where I did look at going before. But, uh, yeah. I opted for here. So the summit is just there, so I'm just down from it. Yeah, I know I'm next to the path, it's not ideal. But I'll be up and gone sharp first thing. 
Oh, there's some beautiful light getting cast across the Solway now. What a view. Yeah, so you wouldn't want to be camping in the winter with this tent. Strictly good weather camping. Which is what we've got tonight. There's no rain forecast till, well, the next few days really. It's supposed to be really clear. Yes. Wheat have been all fed and watered, but I'm just gonna put the stove on for a hot chocolate. Definitely cooled down now, like put my long trousers back on, I think. But, uh, yep, all is quiet now. Just got them campers down the hill. I think it looks like there's three tents, two tents, three tents, possibly. But yeah. That was a beautiful sunset. Right, well, I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock, so yeah, everything's dampers out, so it could be an interesting night, but uh, I'll be up sharpish hoping to catch the sunrise, but uh, I don't expect to get much kip. Catch y'all in the morning. Morning, campers. Pretty still up here. It's just about uh, four o'clock and the sunrise is starting. So there was very little condensation on the uh, tarp this morning when I got up because when I went to bed last night it was absolutely sodden but uh, it seems to have sort of dried through the night which is good but conditions are perfect up here absolutely still and uh, as of yet there's nobody up here but I'll probably speak too soon but more or less packed down just got the shelter to drop for a quick getaway probably about a two and a half hour walk back to the car so but it should be enjoyable because it's such a beautiful morning okay that's where I was no trace haven't left any pigs or nothing just a matter of heading back to the car now but yeah there's still a little bit of mist hanging about you can just see Thelmy and that one and down up water. But yeah, pretty beautiful morning. So not a bad night under the tarp. A bit cramped. That um, 
the bug net thing that's quite uh, just tight to fit in because the zips on the top but I got in and I was all right but there's nothing up here today there's no midges or nothing even with no wind but maybe uh, that'll change when it warms up a bit but uh, for now it's uh, let's hit the road one last look from the summit oh. it's looking pretty good Yep, one of those special days. Conditions probably perfect. I can't see anybody yet. I mean, it is only 20 past five in the morning. Those of us are tents down at the bottom there. Don't see any life just yet. Just three of them, two. Two red ones and a green one. So as the path drops down here, then drops down to the tarn, and then I can pick up the path over there. So I might go that way. Ooh, and that is slippy. So take me to that. Yep, I've just followed it all the way around. It's a bit tough going because it's all shaly stuff and you're slipping and sliding. But, uh, pick up the path from down. Come on down. Destroys the legs. I'm just glad I had the poles with us. But, uh, it's eased off a bit now. It's all plain sailing now, really, all the way back to the car. I'm uh, out of the sun again, so it's quite cool down here, which is nice. I've just had to stop and strip a layer. But really, I need to be on the other side of this stream down below. pick up the path which takes us back to Mungreisdale. So I was sort of right in that bit there then come down and then I was following that path but it starts to go back up so I've just come across and picked up the path on the other side so I'm on the right path now. So I've got a boot four hours sort of solid sleep you know I woke up about 10 to 4 and looked out and seen the sunrise I thought I'd get up didn't want to get up but uh, you know gotta do these things and it was a glorious sunrise so but yeah the little shelter did all right you know the 30 pound Aliexpress special but it was in totally calm conditions you know it wasn't tested at all but uh, I gave it a run out which is uh, what I was wanting to do right that's the sun dipping out again we're in the valleys now heading into tick country now Bannerdale crags so I could have come down Hang into the back of that one and then picked up the path further down but uh, this one seemed easier okay that's just nearly back in civilization so it was a good night up on uh, Blencafra couldn't have asked for better beautiful uh, sunset and sunrise and conditions were nigh on perfect so it makes up for all the bad ones eh anyhow thanks for watching and we'll see it out on the next one. A rarity and it's still got a phone in.